all the things you see in my in the left of the video is a porn literally is a porn I cannot show you really you know oh sorry um, I, 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 you know <laughs> oh look at this one even this one is they haven't having sex together Arab girls and this is halal in YouTube all right I just type two words in Arabic I even actually I did not even type for sex I type uh, uh, like dance Khala. let me show you what I typed let me see if I use Google translation if Google translation will, will translate my uh, my search word Yeah, I did not translate my my search word. It translate only the result. Hot dancing and dressed. Taking her underwear. Uh, I just type for Arabic dance. You know, I did not type for. I did not search for sex. I did not type for anything. Look. <laughs> this is what you get when you search Sharia law, huh? Obviously, your girls are practicing Sharia law very much. And you know, the Middle East is messed up to the point they go in front of the camera, record themselves going naked. And this Abdul talking about Sharia law. Yeah, Sharia law. This guy saying I see nothing. I'm not going to show you. If I show you, people will hate me here. Anyway, yeah, this what the Muslim, by the way, try to convince you that Muslims in their land, because of Islam. They have really dignity, and women are like you know. They try to uh, to show you that women they are Muslim women they are decent virgins. Go to the Middle East. Just go to the Middle East. Just go. Go to Emirat, sex land. Bahrain, Saudi Arabia. Once a Saudi guy, he says, did you, do you have something for headache? I said, yeah. You know, streety? Yeah, what's a big deal? So this guy, he drove. He said, uh, where do you have it? Do you have it here with you? I said, no, at home. So he said, okay, you know, uh, where do you go home? I said, I'm going home now. He said, okay, I will, I will go uh, with you. I will drive my car. And he took my car. And he's driving, and I said to myself, I mean, why this guy driving all the way? I mean, I was visiting somebody, I met him there, and why he wanna go all the way to my house, which is far away from his house? For for what? Aspirin? So I went home, you know, I went inside. You know, I could not say to him, don't go. I mean, I would look like being cheap, or you know? So I went home, he waited outside, and I, I, you know, I said, okay, get in. I said, no, 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 just give it to me fast, 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 you know. I said, okay. I have a headache, I have a headache. I said, okay, okay, just wait. I went inside. I went to my fridge. I, uh, you know, I, I, I got the whole aspirin box. I came back. I gave it to him. He went to his car so fast. He opened it, you know. He came to me. He said, what is this? I said, this is aspirin. He said, this is aspirin, real aspirin, right? I said, yeah. Said, you brought me here for this. So what you came for? You told me you have a headache, and you asked me if you have something for a headache. I said, yeah. He threw the box in the floor. He jumped in his car like a monkey. He was, you know, he thought I have drugs. He said, this? I'm not talking about this. I'm talking, you know, you know. 
And who is the one who smuggled drugs to the Gulf, to Saudi Arabia, to Emirates, Bahrain, Hezbollah, Taliban, Pakistan, all are friendly Muslim countries. And I was thinking all the time, I mean, why this guy driving like, I don't know, like almost 40 minutes for aspirin? I mean, he can, like, we, we pass many, many pharmacies in the way. I mean, but I could not say to him, hey, go stop. Go, why, you know, it would be rude. I said, okay, well, whatever, you know. He got so upset because he thought, he thought I have, he thought, I think the guy who was, you know, I was visiting, it was for business, nothing to do with the, anything. So uh, he thought maybe because I, I know him, I think maybe that guy he take drugs too. So he thought, oh, the, like I'm from the, we speak the same language, you know. Like, do you have something for a headache? You know. Once I uh, I spoke, I, I forgot where. I mean, those pervert people they have their own language. So once. Uh, I was in a coffee shop, Starbucks, something like that. So a woman, she said, he said, hi, where are you from? You know, I, I, I like your accent. You were speaking in the phone. I said, yeah, well, I'm, you know. Uh, and you have a nice, uh, the, I love the way you talk, by the way. I said, okay, thank you. I said, uh, uh, do you like to go, you know, somewhere? I said, well, go where? I'm here, you know. And then she said to me, if you like, if you have gum, do you have gum? I said, no, I don't have gum. She said, oh, you should use it. I said, well, I don't like it. And then she said to me, oh, I know that men, they feel better. I said, what, what feel better with what? I said, what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> I was talking about gum. She was talking about condoms. They call condoms gum. So this hooker, this whore, she is talking to me, asking me if I have gums. And I was thinking about, like, gum, you know? I said, well, sorry, I don't, you know? I said, oh, no, you should use it. It's more safe. I said, but it damaged your teeth. She said, no, women, it's okay for their teeth. I, said, I don't know. But it have sugar, it's going to... So I was talking about gum, <laughs> and she was talking about condoms. <laughs> but it took me a little bit to find out what she's talking about, you know? It's uh, it's better, but in a way, if you don't have gum, I have. I said, okay, well, use it yourself. I don't use, you know? <laughs> Thank you, you know? <laughs> if you don't, she's ready, she have gum with her. <laughs> And I was speaking in the phone and looked like she was waiting for me to finish. She said, hey, by the way, where are you from? I said, why? She said, I like your accent and the way you are talking. It's very, very attractive. I said, okay, thank you. Yeah, you know, and this is how the, the conversation starts. She's sitting like a table next to me. And then she have her own language. She have a, you know, do you have a gum? I never heard of uh, such a thing. So... All those, you know, uh, th those kind of people, they have their own language. And if you are not part of it, you will not understand what they are talking about. Oh, boy. Uh, so be careful. You will look so naive when you talk to those people.